It's boy Zap, King of the Giant Robots, and welcome back to Eggs of Fate. If you have them, take a drink with your boy. For old time's sake. Now, we're here in Muspelheim. Where is our man? Not there. There. Not there. I'm supposed to meet a man here. Well, there's the room that we were hiding in in that one scene. Not the item shop. Is that a power? Huh? Huh? Do ya? What the fuck power are you on about? There we go. The one house I hadn't gone to. Ever. Wait. You? You're the one that sent me that letter? Why are you staring at me like that, kid? You think I'm gonna get up and bite you? So, you survived? Of course I did! Thought I used a woman like that. Well, that's what I'd like to say, but the truth is I just got lucky. I barely made it to this town. What about Brunhild? That girl's really something else. If you really want to take her on, you better not take her tea lightly. You're actually completely different from before. Why are you suddenly being so friendly? When I was fighting her, it hit me. I trained all my life for that moment, but when it came down to it, she was just on a completely different level. I started to realize that my journey was useless. You two were going to keep doing your own thing, and there's nothing I could do to stop you. But, maybe I knew that all along. You knew it all along? Listen, kid! When you dedicated your whole life to a single purpose, and one day you just wake up. You wake up and realize it was all for nothing. That one moment where everything crashes down on you. Well... Sometimes it's easier to die than to change. I was like that too. Maybe the reason I kept going on and turning back meant acknowledging that I've been wasting my entire life. But damn it, I'm not going to let it kill me. I'm going to keep going in one thing and doing for 40 years. I'm going to survive. If I find something else, I'll find something new to live for. I want to tell you this. Handing it over to you, kid. It's your battle now. Good luck. Thank you, Clint? No. Thank you. You gave me hope. Hope that even though it can't make a difference, maybe things turn out regardless. Now you go on and finish this. You're the only one now who can do it. Don't worry. I will. It's time to act. We go back to Elysium Castle and start preparing for the final assault on Almenga. Capture of Vanaheim, it's only a matter of time now. Woof. And for those of you new to watching this, this game uses many, many tracks from legendary RPGs. Wild Arms, Xeno Gears, Suikoden, Final Fantasy Tic Tacs, Chrono Trigger. Mm, I might not have enough. How much does it cost? To get clips, shit. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna go pop some grinds. Do some grind, Dan. You know what I keep in a line, and people better stay in line with 
people see a person like shining, grinding. Let's go to the weirder zone. Come on, lad. <laughs> this is what I did off screen earlier. Just had to grind it out. Almost forgot that I needed to heal people. Yeah, I can't change my status. Oh, come on already. Yeah, I healed everyone up. All right, I'll do the thing that's go that'll go faster. Ah, do another fight though. Not against that thing. Right, at least I won't steal from that thing again. That's. That's too much high power. Dark Matter, turn one. Get him out of here. Beam. That's level 
up, got some money, out of here. Come on. Bye. Looking for Eclipse. You know what? That's fine. Story beat. Promise. Oh, wait. Fuck. Oh, where's the guy? Where would he be? There's a guy that will take these this ore and convert it into offensive items. Now that's the treasure. Why would he be though? I doubt he'd even be at the docks, so I'm not gonna bother going there. Mm, Alright, let's Alright, checking around the castle, I guess. What's here? That guy. No, well, we can check this out. Wood set. Retro set? What's retro about this? change sets though. That's fine. It doesn't look bad. It's like, what's so special about it? Yes, the cat has its own room. About 100 men. That's right. They all praise me for excellent leadership and courage. Of course, they're all blessed to be in such good company. Oh my god, please help. This place is pretty cool, I guess. I can totally see my future here, man. I want to rock the world. The Bards, Dancer and Bard, Nikki and Mickey. Taking a quick break, sir. Outside of a place like this, there's not as many women around. There's still some, but you gotta look harder. Well, look at the Campbell. Nope. Also, his dog. I could take his dog into battle. I could take that cat into battle. Is that what I'm looking for? And I guess the guy I'm looking for would be... I know we have a library here, but where the fuck's that entrance? What is it? Yeah. A place of academics. What is a bunch of stuffy old books? I've already read most of these. 
Do you have any comics? Resident Dracula. Asking for comics. Ha! Oh, you found some rainbow worm. So we're going to save the process. Come back later and be done. Dope. Resident Dracula tries to read comic books. More than 11. Time has come at last. The Imperial Army has been driven back to the area surrounding the capital. Remember, they've only been retreating until now. We've yet to fight a decisive battle here in Almenga. So far, they've... From, so they're far from defeated yet. But don't let that discourage you. With our combined forces, we have more than a match for them. The final battle is almost at hand. Yeah, well... What's wrong, Jovian? Just give it to him, General Knight. You shouldn't keep it from him. All right, all right. We received this yesterday. It's for you, Daniel. It's an uh, invitation. An invitation? Okay, yeah. This letter has the Imperial Seal on it. it. Must have come from the Emperor himself. He's inviting me to come to Vanaheim? Alone? If you come, we will provide with all the answers you seek. This is ridiculous. Asking the enemy commander to come to their capital by himself? They can't be serious. I don't know what they're thinking, but it's some kind of desperate plan. Are they really expecting you to accept this? Mm. Daniel, you're not thinking of going, are you? We've almost won this war. They want to answer your questions? Let them do it after we've taken the capital. Yeah, it would be stupid to accept this, right? But still, I want to think about the meaning of this invitation for a while. There might be a deeper motive behind it. We'll post this meeting until tomorrow. Single day isn't going to make a difference. Shouldn't wait too long, Daniel. Sooner we get this over with, sooner we can concentrate on rebuilding our country. But you're right. One day doesn't matter. Then, please excuse me. Oh! Hold yourself. I wanted to see how you were doing. I heard about the Emperor's invitation. Yeah, I've been thinking about it. And what is your conclusion? Old Shelf, I'm not necessary here anymore, right? They don't need me to win the war. That may be true at this stage, but why do you ask? I feel like I shouldn't be leading the, leading the Elysium army anymore. I should just resign and go my own way. That's a rather extreme decision. What makes you think that way? Because at this moment, I care more about myself than about everyone else. Right now, finding out the truth about myself is more important to me than ending the war. That's not how a leader should think. So... If you had no responsibility towards the Elysium army, would you go? Yes, I would. I'm not saying you should or shouldn't go. I'm just interested in your motivations. Why not wait until after the war is over? Maybe I can't wait now that I'm so close. Maybe I'm afraid I won't get another chance. That's true, and I would never get to know the truth. Do you think these fears are rational? I don't know, Jeff. I just don't know. It's 
ultimately your decision. Remember that. They may not approve, but they will understand. <sighs> yes, you may be right. Thank you, old Stel. Well, whatever you do, please think it through. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. Of course. Why did I think of it earlier? Yeah, if I could do that, I could. But I have to be careful about it. Hmm. Who could I entrust with this? Uh, oh, I have more room here now. That expanded. The people in so many care are living together in unity. Has it really become possible now? Okay, so yeah, I have to talk. Yander, we need to talk. Go ahead. What's on your mind? I have a plan. It will require me to accept the invitation, but if it works, it will all work in our favor. Why do you want to discuss this with me in private? Is this something you don't want everyone to know about? Do you know many of the rest would never let me do it? You're a professional and we don't have a personal connection, so I know I can trust you with this. I know you'll do what's necessary, no matter the circumstances. Well, tell me what your plan is, then. Out of the question! It's far too risky! You realize how small the chance of this plan working is? I don't care. I've already made up my mind. I'm going to Vanaheim no matter what. And this way I can at least help you out at the same time. But are you sure you can do this? After all, he's still... Doesn't matter. I don't see him that way. Either way, it should still make a battle a little easier for you all. It'll save a lot of lives. Everyone will benefit from this. I know you understand. Uh, what if they take you hostage instead? That's why I chose you, Yander. I know you'll do what you have to do. You'll have full command over the army while I'm gone. Think you're up to the task? Ah, very well. If you'll be going no matter what, we might as well make the best of it. I don't like it, but it's your own choice. I will do what must be done. I knew I could count on you, Eander. I'll handle everything from here. Go rest now, General Vineyard. When you're ready tomorrow, come see me at the meeting hall. A nap. All right. No, that burn. This game did not implement an elevator. Might have been really hard to program. Hold on now, let's make sure. Once later, there'll be no turning back. Don't go until you're absolutely sure you're prepared for the coming battle. Are you ready? Boop.
I need a battle party. Do I need to form a battle party? Let's go. Then I will say goodbye to you, General Vineyard. From now on, you will be on your own. I pray that you'll meet again at the gates of Anaheim. here. Did Leander tell you? Don't blame him. We didn't give him a choice. Daniel, why did you leave without telling any of us? So you're just trying to convince me, Angel. I've already made up my mind. I know. I just came to see you off. You're letting me go? Well, Shelf, help me understand. This is something you have to do. You've been fighting for so long and you've brought us all this far. You don't owe us anything. We're all behind you. Thank you. What about Jovian? What did he say? He said he didn't have to see you now. He said he'll see you again after the battle. <laughs> oh, he never changes, does he? Even at a time like this. Angel. The sword. Do you remember? It was forged by your father on my 18th birthday. It wasn't just a present, it was a symbol. It meant that, despite being born an outsider, I had been fully accepted as one of you. So I've been at my side throughout these years, and it's never failed me. Your father called it a masterpiece, and I can do nothing but agree. But the sword is not alone, it has a counterpart. She also received one just like it. Seems everything that happened in my life happened for a reason. Maybe it happened because someone decided it should. This, too, was planned. But despite all that, it's still my own decision. I'm going because I want to. Take the sword, Angel. This time, it will not be at my side. I'll hold on to it till you return, Daniel. Well, if that's not a sign and a half. Yeah, let's just pray for that. He's unarmed, let him through. Follow me. You must be Emperor Siegfried, then. I came just like you told me to, so go ahead. Explain to me who I really am. You're impatient, just like your sister. But if this is what you want, I'll get straight to the point. What you are is the road to our future. You are the embodiment of our desires. A reaction to our actions. Enough with this big bullshit! I want real answers! Every action has a reaction. And every action in itself 
is a reaction to something else. These chains of reaction are what makes up our history and our future. They are the chains that bind us and rule us. He who can tell these reactions, his actions will cause and is therefore able to predict the future. However, this ability is limited. The variables in this equation are too numerous for any man to comprehend. This reality is a table globe created by the actions of millions of individual beings. No. The only way to accurately predict the future is by shaping it oneself. By manipulating the chains, causing new reactions in a predictable pattern. The way to shape a man's future is to limit his choice. Whose choice? Mine? Your life is a result of years of planning. You are a carefully crafted, artificial, but natural leader. The fuck are you on about? That is not true. I know you understand what I mean. You're really not sure how far his influence has gone. The truth is that you are here because that was my will. And you came this far because that was my will. Because it was your will? Bullshit! I came this far because I chose to. Because the ones who following me chose to. You didn't have anything to do with this. Everything has happened for a reason. When things were not going the right way, we influenced your choices to guide you. Take the Kelsinger incident, for example. You were supposed to stand out and take the lead, but you chose to do the opposite because you disagreed with the way you were in. We limited your choice. When placed on the other side, your natural capabilities flourish and you emerge as the true leader you were supposed to be. And the execution of the Kiergaard royal family? served a purpose. It created a choice. There were obstacles in your way to true leadership, and as such, they had to be removed to the very last of them. We took your leaders away in order you to force them to choice a new one. You. That's true, then why are you losing the war? If I'm the only one doing what you want me to do, how come I've spoiled your plans over and over again? You misunderstand my wishes. A good strategist doesn't rely on a single plan. Oh hell, I missed a line. I mashed an extra button. Did wasn't supposed to. No, oh, one more, more, one more, more. Okay, there we go. Plan had to be adapted due to the inevitable element of chaos in the chairs of reaction. This turn of events was not our first choice. Our conscious, but it was still our choice, our conscious decision. You are still under my control, even now. Enough about that! Tell me about the spirit within me, this hand of fate. How does he fit in all this? The hand of fate was the original catalyst from the beginning of everything. Let me tell you about him and me. The simple truth is that everything in this world revolves around power. Those who wish to achieve something require power of some kind, whether it be physical strength, charisma, or simply good fortune. The terrible irony of my life, 
for one who wishes the ultimate power, to be born as the eldest son of an emperor is the greatest blessing imaginable. But my father was a mere sixteen years old when I was born. Despite accepting me as his heir, I was never meant to become emperor. Unless my father died young, I would have been an old man by the time he would have abdicated. It was implicitly assumed that the real heir would be my own child. If that wasn't enough, I always have been ill of health. I am too weak to wield a sword, let alone lead my men into battle. Even if I sit here on the throne, my body aches. It is but a miracle that I've survived this long. Yes, I could have had it all, but I was still powerless. Even after I met her, she who meant more to me than anyone ever had, I felt incomplete. Even with Sigrid at my side, I need more. I began reading, having little contact with the outside world. I learned all I know from the castle library. I read about history, about warfare, about medicine, psychology, philosophy, anything I found, I read. And finally, the books had been recovered from the Hall of Memories. The books about demon summoning. I was fascinated by it. The thought that humans could possess such incredible power. From that moment on, I could not stop thinking about the possibilities. The question would not leave my mind. What about me? Could the summoning give me superhuman power as well? Could I finally have the strength to achieve my goals? It was impossible to resist the temptation. And so, one day, I tried it. I attempted to call a spirit. Any spirit. But the one who appeared before me was more than just any spirit. He claimed he was the only one that could make my desires come true. He introduced himself as the Hand of Fate. Whether he was actually a higher kind of spirit or merely a pretender is something I never found out. But it didn't matter. I was so expressed to him. My wish. Your wish? Unity, yes. My wish was for this world to be united. Having witnessed the madness of my father, the remarkable loyalty of his people as they were led to their deaths, I realized that as long as such people were in power, there would continue to be wars because of greed and hatred or insanity. A strong ruler was necessary to bring peace. My wish was for the appearance of such a ruler, who could unite the world under his command. My wish was for me to be that ruler. But what I was already fearing deep inside proved to be true. The hand of fate told me that I was not suitable. The demon summoning binds a powerful spirit to a mortal body. If the body is unable to bear the strain of this incredible power, it will collapse quickly. My dreams are shattered once again. I came close to unimaginable power, only to see it slip through my fingers. I was too weak to wield that strength. I could not entrust this to anyone else. I knew the summoning would eventually lead them to madness, but... So said the Hand of Fate. There was a way around this. It could be ensured that madness would not set in, as long as the spirit was present in the body from the very beginning. There is only one way for that to happen. The spirit had to be passed from mother to child. But the mother would not survive such a thing. Next time. Matricide. Good night, Space Knights.